Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Tier of Vermilion. Today we're in Filden, the capital of Elfilden. So, let's go exploring. Let's see what's going on here. Um, there's a pretty efficient way to do this. Uh, I'm going to try to do this as efficiently as humanly possible, because we are going to be here for quite some time. Okay, so we need to get on out of here on the other side of the fountain to the highway. Well, we can do that. But first, I want to head over here to the library, which is uh, kind of interesting. If you look at all these bookshelves right here, they have the Swordswoman Safi books, which were the uh, collectible books from Legend of Heroes Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch. And they're all up and down this left-hand aisle right here. So if you want to read those, you can. I'm not going to read them because I already read them in Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch. If you'd like to see what they say, I have a bonus episode on that playlist uh, regarding that. These two books I'm going to show in the end slate. This door is locked. And this is the last Swordswoman Safi book over here. There's some other books over here that I'm going to uh, show in the end slate as well. And uh, we'll go over those right now on our way out. Yeah, so this is going to be quite a long episode of going through the town and also reading. These six books right here I will also show in the end slate. This one in particular is a history book. It has a red exclamation point and that little note card right there. So whenever you read that book, it's going to give you a history entry. So make sure if you do nothing else, read that book if you want 100% history. Well, what's going on over here? Yeah, we're trying to get to the other town. Oh, it's Marty! Hey, yeah! Oh, you're so cute. Oh my god. Um, I thought that you were kind of part of the upper crust, but, well, he is a student. I was kind of a starving student myself whenever I was in college as well. I actually worked three jobs and went to college at one point. It was horrible! I'm sure some of you can guess at what point that was that I had to work three jobs and, uh, you know, pay my way through school and everything because, um... A life event happened! We'll just put it that way. Not a really good life event, but a life event nonetheless. Uh, yeah, we're getting on out of here. We're leaving this one-horse town. Oh, well, who the hell is the Symseal gang? We'll take him out. Um, excuse me for existing, you asshole. Oh, wow, you're really condescending, aren't you? Okay, so the, the Sime Seal gang, and they're headquartered in the Ziziki Pass? Who comes up with these names? It's so crazy. Okay, so the King's Army's on the high road, we can't go out there, because that would impede their investigation. Oh, okay, so I guess Marty can go, because he's a, uh, adventurer. Huh. Oh, well, we need to go on through, so maybe we could become an adventurer as well, or maybe be escorted by an adventurer? Um, I really don't want to have an adventurer escort me, but we could. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of money, I've got to say. Especially because I'm going to be spending it really soon. Oh, the capital of flowers. Reminds me of something out of uh, Game of Thrones. Well, what's going on, Mile? Yeah, maybe. I mean, if we can't go where we want to go, and we're going to be stopped in every single town because we're not adventurers, then we probably just should become them. Oh, yeah, we got to keep uh, the promise to Lemurius as well. Well, we are good fighters. I mean, we did kill that monster on the high road, yeah. Hamaki cages or keys or... I don't know. These Japanese, like, Romanized names are really strange to me. Okay, well, sounds like a plan. We can go on over to the Adventurers Guild. But first, there's more! Yeah, I want to go over here, because up here is the Filden Castle. We can't actually explore the castle, but we can talk to some of these guards. So, just get a little bit more information. I think that's kind of interesting. This guy doesn't really say much of anything, except that the king is over there, and we can't actually enter the castle. However, this guard over here does say something pretty interesting. Princess Mildine is a tomboy. Hmm. I'm sure we'll never run into her. Yeah. So down here is the guild. You can see the little guild bracer sign right there. So let's go talk to the guildmaster. 
Yeah, our request is to become adventurers. The students have become the teachers. Oh, well, why is that? We already killed that freaking monster. Yeah, no kidding. Even you tell him, get in your soapbox. You preach. Yeah, we gotta get going. I don't have time to hang out here. Uh, what, uh, a member like Marty? Marty sucks! I do not want him to join me. He's terrible. He does have that cheer ability, which is pretty nice. But other than that, he has black magic, and I've already talked about why black magic sucks, especially when I was playing Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch. I went in depth on why black magic sucks in pretty much this entire trilogy. Um, white magic isn't all that much better, but, you know, you have to heal. So, it's something. But I mean, I, I guess Barney's better than nothing. Oh. So, yeah, we're totally adventurous now. Oh, great. And what's the certification exam entail? I can't wait for this one. Three requests? Seriously? Three? Are you kidding? No, I'm not interested. Screw you. Let me just jump over the desk, take the damn badge, and get the hell out of here. Ugh. Oh, I really like my way better, especially because I really don't want to collect donations. Great. Yeah. This is why I didn't want to explore the capital before, because we are going to have to explore it now, anyway, for this quest. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Okay, so we have to go find the Abbot Zarya for uh, more information on this job. Hey, hey, what do we got here? Ooh, rare potion. I'm probably going to have to sell some of those pretty soon. They only sell for um, five roses, though, so it's not a big deal, but you can only carry ten. So once you start finding more of them, then you'll just say, like, Oh, I found it, but I dropped it. Way to be redundant. Yeah, no kidding. You're not kids. Like, come on now. I mean, I've saved the world with Fort Hell. Screw 14-year-olds. I've saved the world with a 6-year-old before. Like, 18 is outright ancient in this game. Flying monkeys? <laughs> what is this, Wizard of Oz? What are you talking about? Oh, man. Oh. Okay, so yeah, he was kind of a dick, but anyway. We have to go and uh, collect some donations. Yeah, no kidding. Hmm. Yeah. Because it... it yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't just call it the Holy Land Church, it's just called Cathedral! Yeah, we're not going to come up with a better name, we're just going to come up with Cathedral. Very inventive game. Okay, so first things first, let's go over here to uh, this area of town. This is actually a pretty small area, but we have to go here nonetheless. So let's start it up. Hey there. Yeah, pretty much everybody with a red exclamation point, um, we have to talk to for a donation. I'm going to go through that dialogue pretty quickly, because it's honestly everybody saying, Hey, why are you here? Can I help you? Oh, you need a donation? Here you go. It's, you know, nothing pertinent, if you know what I mean. Oh, purple hair. I like it. Yeah, hey, you, you look pretty good, I've got to say. Too bad we can't get a portrait for her. That'd be kind of nice, actually. Um, so, I wonder if we can get a donation from the people over here. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, wow, we walked in on a fight. I probably shouldn't be here. Whoa! Yikes! Wait, we're actually getting in trouble for prying and going inside of people's houses unannounced? What's next? We're gonna get in trouble for breaking pots and opening up treasure chests and raiding drawers? No, that couldn't possibly happen. So let's go on down here. What do you have to say for yourself, kid? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we're not gonna tell you. I guess it's coins, jingling coins! The lovely sound of coins! Uh, hey, more rare potions. Merchant Garcia. Was there a Merchant Garcia in Moonlight Witch? I don't rem It sounds very familiar to me, but I'm not entirely sure. Wow, yeah. Oh. Okay. That reminds me of a story I heard of this, I can't remember her name, but there was this really rich woman in the late 1800s, and she was on a carriage ride, and she lost a stamp. It was like a two-cent stamp. 
and she held up the entire carriage for over an hour looking for that one stamp because she didn't want to uh, lose it. So, that's like taking stinginess to a whole nother level, I've got to say. But there's some people in here that we can get some donations from as well. Uh, let's see, I believe that I have to get a donation from you, Mr. Blue Hair. No, it's not you! Oh. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Okay, so it's not you, it's your wife. Hmm. They seem to really be sucking these people dry. They don't really want to give donations, do they? Oh. Oh. Sure. The society. I guess she means the church. But I have bad connotations with societies in JRPGs. Oh. Huh. I wonder if Abizaria and uh, Garcia, who we just met, are in cahoots. Oh, yeah. Selfish good for nothings. Hmm. And here we are bleeding all these commoners dry. Hey, what do you got here? Ooh, stingling. Nice. Those books, by the way, are like how to prepare vegetable books. I'm not going to show those anymore because they are just boring and they're stupid and they don't pertain to the plot at all. So I figure... Why not? I mean, if you guys really want to see them, let me know. But honestly, like I said, they don't pertain to the plot at all. And they don't even teach you how to cook. Like, I could teach you how to cook better than that stupid book could. I cook all- I really enjoy cooking, actually. So, yeah. Ooh, Fururu. Who named you? Huh. Nice bunny. Huh. Anyway, let's get on out of here. So, I believe that that's everybody for those, both of those sides of towns. Hey, hey, ooh, yeah, nice. That item there, it restores 20 MP. So, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, gotta talk to you. I saw that red exclamation point, so let's head around. Get on in there. Hey, guy. Yawn, yawn can cook! That was a show back when I was a kid on like PBS. It was so ridiculous, it was this, um, old Chinese guy or something, and he would just scream into the camera. Be like, Yan can cook, and you can too! It was quite, quite funny, I must say. Um, I don't know how, it was on like, it was on the air for at least like five years. Oh. Oh. I kind of agree with you here. Uh, hey, yeah. A pretty boy mile. I could say something about pretty boys, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks. And while I'm here, just to be efficient, let's go ahead and exchange our roses, or our peers for roses. You get peers from monsters, and and uh, you have to exchange them for roses. And you exchange five peer, or one peer for five roses. So that's how you buy stuff in the game. Anyway, the one thing that I want to buy is the Bastard Sword for Avon. There's some other stuff here, belts and rods that we can't equip, um, and then some boomerangs. Now, this to me is strange. The Long Boomerang costs 270 roses, and it has 31 attack power. The Chakram costs double, and it has one less attack power. Why would you ever buy that? You would totally buy the Long Boomerang, unless I'm missing something. If so, let me know. I'd also like to get some Light Shields for both Mile and Haven, and the Byzant Armor for both of them as well. If you can't afford all that, don't worry about it. It's not pertinent at all. But speaking of equipment, last time we also got these silver anklets. We stole one from, um, hammer cages, and we also received one as his drop. So, go ahead and look at those. It raises your magic defense. That's pretty nice. Huh. Uh, bye to you too, but I'd kind of rather that the purple-haired girl hit on me. Or Marty. I'd like that too. <laughs> well, Ava doesn't seem uh, too happy about this turn of events. Okay, yeah. So, um, let me just rob you blind. Go over here, the tool shop. And there's some stuff here. I'm just gonna go through it pretty quickly. It's nothing pertinent, nothing major. Um, just want to show you everything that they um, sell here in case you're curious. I'm not gonna be buying anything. If you were to buy something here, I would recommend buying the wristband. That is an accessory that raises your attack power by, I believe, oh, eight. That's actually not half bad, but uh, we'll be getting something much better. Well, not real soon, but soon enough, so I wouldn't worry about it. 
Hey, this is, uh, Fururu. We've already robbed your mother blind, so I guess you don't have any money, but you do have a teddy bear. Hmm, I'm sure that won't come in handy at all. Hey, guy, what's up? Oh, yeah, are you drunk? What's wrong with you? You have a name? Okay, got a question here. Is this his accent? Is he drunk? Or is this just like typos galore? I'm going to assume that this is his accent or he's drunk because every single V is, ch is changed to a B, like you haven't even. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, why would you introduce yourself in a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Eben. So, this is his little accent. But honestly, they really shouldn't do accents in games like this, especially when the uh, translation is so terrible that you would just assume that, um... Oh, God. Seriously, instead of this, it's this? Are you kidding me? Ugh. So, you know, I would just assume that it was, you know, bad translation. So... Apparently, he's looking for some writer. Eh, we'll try to find him. Okay, can do. Oh. Okay. Well, everybody else was saying that, you know, there was like a donation a week, and you're paying once a month? You cheap ass! Get on over here and pay your dues! Eh, I shouldn't say anything. The richest guy in town didn't pay either. Go on down here and talk to her. Oh, Diana. I like your hair. It's nice. What's your business? Oh, are you like a bard or something? No, you're a diva! Reminds me of another game. A really, really good game. Probably one of my favorite games ever made. I loved it! But, I don't know if I'm gonna tell you the name of it. Maybe you can figure it out with the clue of diva. Huh. We shall see in the comments! Quick! Look for clues in the comments section! <laughs> God, I go on Facebook way too much. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I think that we have one more person to talk to, and it's that mysterious writer that, uh, Jayamede was looking for? Jayamine? I don't know how to pronounce his name. But anyway, he's right over here hanging out in this, I wouldn't even call it a house, like a little storage room or something. Yeah, so, uh, pay up, Karamis. Uh, that is a good question, I've gotta say. Okay. Well, I don't know if it was the church, it was really the guild who asked. <laughs> you tell him, Avon. I really love how Avon doesn't take any shit. Like, like somebody looks at Avon cross-eyed, and he's like, Fuck you, old man! And he's just what's going off. I mean, hell, he went off on the Elder, too. I approve. Oh, you're a writer? Hey, yeah. Hmm. What's your most famous book? Oh, really? You wrote Swords on Safi? Yeah, we've all played Moonlight Witch before, so yeah. That's, I actually really like that. I like how uh, this game not only references it, I mean it directly, outright states that it's Swordswoman Sa Safi, but it also introduces you to the writer of it. Why are you hiding from your manager? Don't you pay your manager? Isn't your manager your employee? Why would you hide from him? Like, why would you... If you don't want to be bothered by your manager and he's chasing you all over the place... Like, just say, screw you, I'm gonna go retire. Really? That is kind of pathetic, I've gotta say. Then don't write! You're old, you had a bestseller, you must be rolling in the dough. Like, don't write, who cares? Oh, what's it? What are you talking about? Oh, okay, so I guess we gave him a, uh, an idea for his next book. Hey, sweet! Oh, well, Milo can be the model. Yeah, no problem at all. He reminds me a lot of uh, Uncle Huck from Moonlight Witch, except 
his running around actually made sense, because he was running from his, like, debt collectors. But this guy's running from his own employer? Like, or actually, not even his employer, his employee! I mean, you employ a manager in order to promote yourself or sell your books or if you're an actor, you know, find gigs, find jobs, things like that. Why would you run from them? You would just fire them and say, you know, leave me the hell alone, go away. But that makes too much sense. And we can't have things make sense in a JRPG. That would, <laughs> that would just be insane! Really? You've got to be drunk. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, well, so, uh, we found a guy. Um, not that far away, actually. Just one house up. Oh. Huh. Okay. Oh, did he? Did he even say that he went towards Borum? I don't think he did. Oh, yeah, he did. Miles just sent you on a wild goose chase. Yeah. Um, see ya. Yeah. So, with that, we have spoken to all the people that we need to get donations from. It's quite a lot, and it's a total royal pain in the ass to do. But, we're still not done! We still can't finish this stupid frickin' quest, because we have to head over here and, uh, find this fighting couple. And apparently there's Marty in there, but what's he doing? Find out next time! Let's play Legend of Heroes Prophecy... Not Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch! <laughs> I've been talking about the game way too much, but tier for a million. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for the end slate. Have a good day.